Hey guys, Spamweights here. Doing a little another tech video over here. I kind of been liking doing that Samsung one, so I decided to do another one. As of late, actually, I've been watching like a, more of my YouTube videos and more of my Twitch streams, amongst many other things, on these like Android set top boxes, even though they're not really a set top box. Um, here's an example I have a Google Chromecast with Google TV. Basically, like you think about like Apple TV or the um, Amazon fire cube fire stick sort of deal like it has you can make your tv smart um what i use it here is i actually have a monitor that has hdmi plug it in it actually works not planning to use the amazon fire stick as often as my parents and their main tv what i decided to mainly focus on is the ones that has google's google tv operating system and the ones that doesn't have like those weird cracked ones um that has like custom interfaces anything are these two the TiVo Stick 4K and the uh, Google Chromecast with Google TV. I keep forgetting what this is really called. This is a really long title. I know there's also the Dynalink one, but that one went kaput on me. So I wish I could do a comparison with that one, but I, I don't have one now. <laughs> I used to have one before I went kaput in three days. So if that tells you anything, um, I feel like I should compare these two because I feel like Amazon's not really popular like around the world. Like maybe like the main countries like you know united states uk canada like a very but a very handful of countries and i feel like these things are more universal probably this the the chromecast versus the tivo stick uh tivo stick for stream tivo stick <laughs> tivo stream 4k um i feel like this is more universal but i do want to compare these two because for those who are like in americas or could whoever can get this um they have pretty similar interfaces Yet one has more feature packs than the other. So why don't I just give a comparison? I'm not going to compare it like a true person watching on a TV. Mostly my content is watching YouTube and watching Twitch streams. I was thinking of doing like Crunchyroll or um, Verve here in the United States. I, um, I don't have a Netflix account. I don't really have a good Hulu account either. And I don't really watch much mainstreams. But for those who like just watch YouTube videos and like Twitch and like that, I find these very helpful rather than turning on my computer. So let's give it a whirl. I'm gonna pop in the TiVo Stream 4K. I'm gonna pop in the Google Chromecast with um, Google TV and we'll compare them. See you guys in the next clip. All right, so we have here the TiVo Stream 4K. Um, I guess I'll show a little bit of like specs here for those tech, ner tech nerds here. It's gonna be up there. Both of these, oddly enough, the both the Google TV and the TiVo Stream 4K, I will remember to say it right next time, I swear. Have roughly the same specs, actually. The TiVo Stream 4K has a cloud core processor, um, two gigs of RAM, eight gigs of storage, but can be expanded um, using the little dongle uh, USB-C um, hub port. So if you connect a USB-C hub, you can actually expand the storage to whatever using like flash drives, micro SDs. However, I've had issues with my TiVo Stream 4K when connecting to that. I also have issues with my Google Chromecast of like just adding extra dongles so I can add more storage or use a mouse or anything like that. So your mileage may vary on what kind of dongles you're using and probably the device itself. But 8 gigs of storage is really not a lot for both of these things, but these things can go 4K, 60, actually both of them can do that. Um, both of them also have Wi-Fi 2.4, 5 gigahertz. So if you have the slow Wi-Fi or the fast Wi-Fi at home, um, you can connect to any of them and then you can stream whatever kind of content you want. Here on this monitor, it's going to be 1080p. Unfortunately, I don't have a 4K monitor here. I don't have a 4K TV anywhere, so I can't show the full output on that. Also has Bluetooth. You can connect like a Xbox controller or any other Bluetooth controller to like play games or even actually navigate through the whole menu and sort. Micro USB power connector, which is interesting for the 4K, the TiVo Stream 4K compared to the Google TV. It actually has a USB-C, but I'll go over that later. Um, has a micro USB power connector and a, as I said, the USB hub connector. So you can plug in hub to get your mouse support and your storage support however it only has android 9 i'm hoping this thing does get updated who knows we'll see if it ever gets an update i don't think i've ever gotten an update on this thing yet granted i haven't really turned this on i've been using my google tv for google tv with chromecast or chromecast with google tv man i have that backwards <laughs> yeah you could connect like other accessories like that so you can just connect it here add an accessory and whatnot if i click on storage you can see um the amount of storage you have it's 4.5 4.5 gigs after they installed the operating system and all the 
bunch of stuff. So basically, I only have around like two, three gigs left. I have installed a couple apps, but I only have about like two gigs left to just install like other apps and whatnot. So it's not really a lot. But you can plug in a USB drive, as you can see. I tried here and it worked for like a good solid five minutes. And then after that, it stopped working for whatever reason. I don't know. <laughs> you can plug in also like a wireless mouse if you want to use mouse support on this thing. You could kind of use this as a computer. I wouldn't suggest it. Also use a keyboard if you're not used to typing on screen, like click Q, A, you know, QWERTY like that. <laughs> Promise you, typing on a keyboard with a t with just a TV and a remote, it's not great. And this doesn't have like T9 or anything. Also, this remote is very uh, feature pack. You can see that this remote is actually fe very feature pack. I have kind of programmed this TiVo 4K. I, f I forgot to factory reset it, and I don't feel like planning to. But the main function for this remote is using their TiVo app to like watch free content and whatnot. I think they use Pluto TV as their backbone for the free content. So you can just watch any kind of random free shows and whatnot. That's pretty amazing. And when you, you see there's like power button. Let's see how well I could focus on this thing. So you, you have the power input, your, your input. So I think you can actually program this to your TV um, to like change your input from your main TV or whatever. The TiVo button that actually actually activates the TiVo, but I've disabled this. <laughs> Mute button, guide button, channel buttons, volume button, uh, the Google button, your home button, the back button, uh, Netflix button for those who have Netflix. I'm pretty sure a lot of people, I just don't. <laughs> and the numbers where I think you can use, use it for when you're actually using the TiVo app. I don't know if it's going to work. Let me try. <laughs> I don't think this is actually programmed anymore because I've programmed it to something else. Yeah, I did program it to something else. I programmed it to YouTube. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's see if it works. So this is like a little TiVo stream um, app. This is like like their main feature of like stream other streaming content. And there's actually a lot of free apps you can actually watch free stuff. So you like, can go to the guide and you can just see their TV channels. I think you can also connect it with like Sling TV. So if you have that internet TV service, you can connect it there and you can actually watch whatever you want. Um, so you can see there's like a whole bunch of channels from Pluto TV right on top. I think there's a, some special ones as well from them. But usually I use it for YouTube and Twitch. So let's go to YouTube. Let's go with, let me go with the Samsung one thing right here. And then the one thing that kind of sucks with this one, I'm hoping I am not very loud here. This is only the only thing that really sucks. I can't change the volume on this. The volume control on this remote actually does not work. You can see it light up, but does not do absolutely anything. Um, that's because this one actually controls only like your mixers or your TV. So if you have like a remote that requires like have an IR blaster to like change the TV um, volume, you could do with that but it doesn't have like the on-device volume. That's the one thing I don't like about the TiVo Stream 4K versus the Chromecast of Google TV. This one actually can control the volume in the device itself. So you can actually, like if you have not, if you have a like a speaker or anything that doesn't require um, remote control access to change the volume, you can use like the Google Chromecast to change your volume and it will change without issue. Compared to this, it doesn't change anything at all. In my setup, my monitor is just a monitor. It doesn't have any speakers or anything. So I actually have to plug in like a speaker through a 3.5 millimeter cable. And then I thought I would be able to change the volume. I can't with the TiVo Stream 4K. That's the only bummer thing. But if you have like a TV, it definitely works out a lot better. <laughs> I promise you that. But like the stream works fine. Everything looks clean and everything like that. Um, you can go more, you can go up to 1080p. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it shows 60 frames a second. Granted, I think this video is not exported into 4K, but you can play this in 4K. Let me probably load up a 4K video here, right? Actually, you know what? Let me use the search function right here. So what I'm going to do is actually search up here. 4K video. See, it actually really works. So you could use the search function. Usually the Google function here may work, though sometimes it doesn't for me. Um, I'm just running this like real quick video. So I probably won't be able to run this in 4K. Okay, my monitor. Oh, but it autos in 4K. <laughs> so this thing runs in 4K. It actually runs pretty well. I guess I could be like one of those people that has stats for nerds, which is this little button right here. So you can see it's a like, crops into the thing. And then you can actually see like all the fun stuff. Uh, can run 4K stream, uh, 4K videos. I'll hop over to Twitch because that's where I'm going to be like, that's where I usually watch my like live streams and whatnot. Oh, uh, looks like it is. <laughs> 
that is kind of struggling. It's probably because of my internet. It's not actually, this probably can play, most likely can play 1080p60 on Twitch. It works out fine. You also have access to um, a few of like the pre-installed apps. I may have deleted it though, but you do have access. It will actually automatically install Netflix, Sling, Prime Video, um, YouTube, amongst many other things. I think this are extra you can install. Peacock is another thing you can watch free stuff as well. Oh, I don't have control on here. Do I have it loaded up though? <laughs> do I have my account on here though? If not, I won't. I won't really play it. Okay, I don't have anything. Um, I'm gonna try to connect my controller real quick. We'll also get a game. So the way to add uh, controllers is go to remote accessories for TV stream 4K. It's a different process for Google TV. I'll show you guys as well. Do it. Uh, set it to pairing mode. And the only thing I don't like with the TV stream 4K is it does take a little bit of time to like pair up a lot of things. So like put connecting extra storage, it does take a little while. This one actually does take forever. Pairing a mouse or pairing a controller, it takes forever. Compared to the Google TV, I think I didn't have much of an issue. This one just takes a while. I mean, even though they're using similar specs on their thing, like the processor and everything like that, that for some odd reason, TiVo Stream 4K takes a while. And supposedly this remote is actually a Bluetooth remote. So I think you may be able to connect this to other devices that has Bluetooth. So I can probably connect this to Google TV. Bear, please. And then in the meantime, I'm going to look up Crossy Road. So you guys think I'm actually all prepared and whatnot. Um, one interesting thing I've noticed, um, compared to the Google TV, the way to access the Google Play Store to like download apps and all that stuff is completely different. With the TiVo Stream 4K, since it uses Android TV, I think I said Google TV by accident, but Android TV, it has a more stock, stock feeling. So it actually separates your Google Play Store. So you could just access it and download apps, or whatever you want. So like your streaming apps, some games if you want to do, which is one we do right now. I feel like Crossy will probably like to be the best one. Yes, I do. I will connect a gamepad. It's a little bit easier to like access Google Play Store to download stuff on the TiVo Stream 4K versus the Chromecast with Google TV. I'll show you guys the, the interface for the Chromecast with Google TV a little bit later. It's a little bit convoluted, but once you get it, you'll get it. But I find the TiVo Stream 4K a little bit more streamlined of how to access a lot of things. If I had the Dynalink here, it would be the best of both worlds. No kidding. I wish I had the Dynalink, but that one could put on me. Really love that device though. Okay, so I got that thing. Check if what's up with the thing. By the way, both the Google Chromecast with Google TV and TV Stream 4K has Chromecast built in, so you can cast whatever you want from your phone to the Chrome to the device, and then it will just cast whatever. So if you say have a YouTube video on your phone, you want to show it to your friends, you want to cast it over to the big screen, you can cast it over. It's pretty easy. One uh, one other good thing with the TV Stream 4K is that you do have a lot of options to like edit here, and even if you go with developer options, you do have like options go through a lot of things, do a lot of things. However, I think it's a little bit more locked down than the Google TV, and not as locked down as the Dynalink. Again, I wish I had the Dynalink. Um, that one's a lot better than these two, but I only have these two, and then I have the Fire Stick, which is very locked down to Amazon. So. I'm gonna go load up some Crossy Road. Let's see how well I can play this. <laughs> I did want to show like Sonic 2. I mean, you could sidle apps on these things, but I don't have it uh, prepared on this thing. Oh boy. I did not know there was like an age verification for these things. So can I, oh, okay. Yay. Oh, okay. So you just have to just control. This <laughs> is my first time playing Crossy Road on a good thing. So it actually does work, you know. I'm gonna not hit myself. Oh no! So that that's how it is. It, you can play you can play, play very light games. I heard I seen you can play some like very light racing games, but nothing too crazy. Games from the Android like the Google Play Store for like your phone if you have an Android phone. Unfortunately, not a lot of those apps work on the T on the Google TV. Whether it's a uh, TiVo Stream 4K or the Google TV. Let me pop into Google TV and I'll show you a little comparison and I think we got mostly everything. I've kind of been showing more of the TiVo Stream 4K's features and whatnot but overall for the TiVo Stream 4K it's really good. It's feature pack. However it can be a bit slow and a little bit bloated especially when you have it plugged in for a little bit longer. It does feel like it's going to get bloated more and more. So now let's go with the Google Chromecast with Google TV to find the comparison. You'll see there's a little bit of difference right? See you in the next clip. So we're now going to be on the Google Stream 4K and by the Google Stream 4K, Google uh, Chromecast with Google TV. Man, this is going to be a mouthful. But uh, by the way, since I have that one, the Google TV, the Chromecast plugged in. Oh my God. 
<laughs> Google Chromecast plugged in. I do. Here's the um, TiVo 4K, uh, Stream 4K. It actually has the USB thing. So you can see there's the power input. As I said before, um, this is the micro USB power input. And here on the side is the special hub connector. There's USB-C, so you can actually plug in a lot of things. Meanwhile, here's the Google Chromecast. It puny. It tiny and also white. You can get it in different colors. That's like the one cool thing with the Google Chrome mask. You can get it in different colors. I think you can get it in white, pastel pink, and pastel blue. I don't know actual names. So here's the, the comparison between the two remotes. You can see the TiVo Stream 4K has a lot of buttons, but it can be very daunting for a lot of people if you're not used to, or if you've gotten used to like very simple <laughs> remotes versus like a feature pack remote like for your TV or anything. Compared to this, look how simple that is. Here's your control, here's your back button, here's your Google button. So it's like the same thing right here. Google button, mute, home button, YouTube, Netflix. The one cool thing, obviously, because it's a Google device, it has access to YouTube immediately and all that stuff. Don't know what this button is. I think it's like share to like a different screen or something and or your uh, change your input and a power button. Let's go to the Google Chromeca uh, Chromecast with Google TV layout. It looks kind of similar to the TiVo Stream 4K. Not going to lie. It looks pretty similar actually. Um, the only difference you could tell is like you see Google TV on top. Um, this is also runs Android 10. I think it's slightly newer. I don't know. I haven't really found the difference between nine and 10, but this one does seem a lot faster and whatnot. See, like I, like the transition seems a lot better. It is a little less bloated. You install roughly the same apps here, but compared to the TiVo Stream 4K, it has the TiVo app, Sling app, and like a bunch of other things um, that just makes it feel bloated. This one, I feel like I could do everything. Now, what I said before with the TiVo Stream 4K, you have access to the Google Play Store really quickly. Here is a bit convoluted. Yeah, no, no, it'll be this way. Apps and then search for apps and then not that way. There is a way. See, so it's very convoluted. There's no true easy way to get to your app store, like the Google Play Store. Oh, here we go. So it's like you go to your apps and you go see all. <laughs> this is how you do it. See all. And there's like another button somewhere to do it, but I am not having it. Is it search? See, it's very convoluted. I, there's like a way to access the Google Play Store. Um, I'll eventually figure it out. It probably is through the app section. So I was like, actually, now I think about it. The way to access the Google Play Store here on the Google TV, uh, Google Chromecast versus the TiVo Stream 4K is the apps subsection. And then you just go down and you can actually search up whatever apps you want. Let's go back to YouTube. Let's play my video again. Here's like a little of information here. It has roughly the same uh, processor. It's a quad core processor, just a wee bit faster, but I haven't found a real true difference. Maybe actually do, because it's like, it does feel faster than the TiVo Stream 4K. Two gigabytes of RAM, so same, same sort of memory, same sort of storage as the TiVo Stream 4K. Could do 4K video at 60 frames a second. HDR like that if you like that. Um, Wi-Fi, so if you have uh, the 2.4 or 5 gigahertz band, you'd be able to connect to Wi-Fi pretty easily. No worries about that. Same Bluetooth 4.2. The only difference is it only has one connector, has a USB-C power connector. You can also plug in a USB-C hub, pending that your USB-C hub can accept power as well. And then you can plug in your mice, your, your non-Bluetooth mouse or keyboard or whatever you want, or extra storage. Again, for me, I haven't had really good luck with my USB-C hubs on any of these devices, so your mileage may vary. Hopefully you guys have better luck than me. <laughs> and Android 10 compared to Android 9 on TiVo Stream 4K. So let me just load the same video as the thing. So I'll run the video, we'll run it pretty nicely. It has no issues on that. Hi, look at it, it's me. Um, the video runs fine. I find it a little bit easier with this one though. As I said before, the TiVo Stream 4K, kind of tricky to mess with the volume here, especially if you don't have a device that has volume control already built in. But with this, the press of this button, or actually you have to control it in the settings, but with the press of this button, I could change the volume. It's amazing. <laughs> so you can actually control the system volume, as is what they call it, versus like your um, device volume. Like, so say the sound bar or your TV itself. So it's amazing. Like I could just be in bed without be able to change the volume if it gets too loud or too soft for whenever I'm watching stuff. It's amazing. So let's go back. Let's run the 4k video as I had before. Unbelievable beauty. And then run the nerds for stats again to show, oop, that's not nerds for stats. That's nerd for stats. So, so you can see it still runs 4k. Um, same with this TiVo Stream 4K. The Google Chromecast with Google TV can run up to 4K, 60 frames a second. Stats for nerds, here you go. Doesn't 
really I don't think there's really a difference per se between the two. They both can stream decent like decent video quality for everything. If you have if you have like Netflix or anything like that, I would suggest like um testing that out yourself. I wish I had again, I wish I had Netflix to test out the 4K Netflix. But the one good thing, I guess I should probably bring this up for Netflix itself. Both of these can stream Netflix without issue to I think 4K if it allows it, if not 1080p. I know it has that certain codec that allows you to stream Netflix stuff. Compared to like those really crap Android TV ones, it doesn't allow you to stream Netflix up to like 1080p HD quality. It streams at I think like 480 or 540p. These will stream Netflix pretty easily. I actually probably sh could show you that. So you see the Netflix ESN right there. Um, that if you have this thing right here, you could actually stream Netflix. And it, this device is not like cracked, like have a cracked system or anything like that, that will impe impede you f like streaming YouTube at a high quality or any other content in high quality. These two are like perfectly legal to watch everything in like decent quality and whatnot. I would suggest looking at other videos between these two devices to see how well they will work with your Netflix or your internet provided TV like Sling, YouTube TV, that's a thing as well. Any of those things. But both of these will be able to work out pretty easily. Let's go do Twitch real quick. The one thing I found interesting between these two and like a Fire Stick, I feel like it loads up a lot faster than the Fire, like compared to the Fire Stick. I would only choose the Amazon Fire Stick or the Fire Cube if you are in the Amazon ecosystem. If you're not, stay away from that and save yourself. Get yourself like a Chromecast or TiVo Stream 4K. These will make your life a lot easier when you ever try to stream any sort of content. I mean, if you have like Amazon Prime or something like that, if, if like something as simple as Amazon Prime, then I would suggest maybe getting a Fire Stick as your first device. But if you don't have any of those things, I would just rather go to something like, like these two devices. Uh, that's an ad. Awesome. But see, it'll actually stream pretty well. I just have Issues controlling myself here. I can run it at 1080p 60 source. Usually it runs. <laughs> yeah, see, it runs pretty well. Part's pretty clean. And all that fun stuff. One last thing is I'm going to play a little bit across your road. Open. Why not? To see if it works. So this should be connected. This doesn't look like it's connected though. So I'm going to connect my Xbox controller to the, the Google Chromecast or Google TV. I can find my words, I promise you. See, this is so much faster. Set to the pairing, it's already, it can pair. <laughs> Compared to the Stream 4K, it takes forever. Here, you can see it pop up, you'll be able to pair it, it's a lot faster. So in terms of like actual speed between the two, like between the Stream 4K and the Google TV, the Google TV, the Chromecast with Google TV is so much faster than loading up a lot, uh, loading up stuff compared to the TiVo Stream 4K. Now, if you want like features like free TV channels and all that stuff, not like the usual TV channels you get on cable or like satellite or anything like that, but if you want like free TV channels and more feature pack stuff, I would suggest getting a TiVo Stream 4K. But again, I suggest using both of these and see what works best for you. But for me, hands down, it's the Google TV. Actually, more hands down, it'd be the Dynalink. I hope I can get the Dynalink again soon so I can show you how much better it is compared to the Google TV. Okay, maybe I'm doubting here. <laughs> I think I think it's now taking a little, I think it's taking about roughly the same time to connect my Xbox controller to the Google, to the Chromecast versus the Stream 4K. No help. <laughs> hey, I did it. Okay. Yay. So, it, without that little error, maybe it'll be a little bit faster. <laughs> so this should work. There we go. I am this age. Crossy road. So it's going to be playing like the same way as well. Um, I realize the audio may not be working. I'm hoping it does. If not, I'm sorry. Yeah, from the looks of it, it's not. Yeah, so, so it, it plays the same way as the other thing. We and boom. <laughs> Free gift. Cool. I guess like one extra thing I'll show you is that I have slide loaded Sonic 2. If you want a video, uh, feel free to comment down below. I could show you how to side load a couple of the apps. I said before that you can't really side load a lot of the Android games. It's true, you can't. Some games require like extra input from you that it's probably better on touch versus a controller or a mouse or anything like that. But like there's other games that can kind of work on here. I did try to load up Sonic 2 and it does kind of work, so I'll show you. 
but like other games like any feature pack games that you guys play or like gotcha games or anything like that most likely i won't work on these uh android tv devices so you can play very light games but nothing more than that i'm also hoping it didn't crash i also hope i wish i had sound yeah i don't think i don't think i'm recovering the sound back so my audio capture is like kind of wonky so i guess well, i'll show you how it works see everything i'm doing this on the controller so we'll go no save mode just play sonic so everything i could you can see everything just works and everything like that by the way this sonic these Sonic game ports on Android and one whom uh, Christian Whitehead makes, they're really good. He's the same guy that made the uh, Sonic Mania game, actually. So, like, if you like classic Sonic, you can definitely play it. So, it works. I'm on a controller. You can see it. I'm trying my best to do this. It's actually kind of tricky. I've actually had a hard time. See? Like, I, it, it's, a bit, it's a bit jarring, but it's really fun. Like... If you have, like, nothing else to do and want to play some old classic games, you can. Come on, it can Sonic, I think. I'm going to... Let's just always get to the thing. Oh, my God. I'm just not used to my controls. There we go. Spin, spin, spin. Wee! Fuck! No. I just want out! We Oh, man. This would probably sound so good if I had sound working on this part. Probably should have started with the Chromecast versus the TV Stream 4K. <laughs> and so this is that if you want if you want me to teach you how to sideload a couple of the apps to see if it actually works or not if you guys have games suggested down below feel free to do that aside from that that's pretty much it um those are the those are the comparisons between the two and the differences between the tivo stream 4k and the google chromecast with google tv um which one i like more as i said i like the google Chromecast with Google TV personally. If you want something that's feature rich that has like you can watch free TV shows or anything like that and like have access to anything and then even have access to like all these buttons and whatnot and could be able to control your TV and sound system with one remote, I would suggest getting the TiVo Stream 4K. However, for me, for something that's like in my bedroom that I just want to watch something real quick that I don't want to turn on my computer or watch it on my tablet or anything like that, Google Chromecast with Google TV hands down if possible get both of them test them out see what's best for you test out the fire fire stick from amazon test out the dynalink box from you can get at walmart or anything like that and i'll leave links down below for those of you want to see those devices and whatnot actually the one last thing is also price supposedly these are still roughly the same price this may go up to 70 bucks if it has i would suggest getting google chromecast with Google TV, this is only 50 bucks. However, during the past holidays, and I think as of late, I've been seeing it, the Dynalink one goes for 30 bucks. I would suggest trying that out first um, before you try out the Google TV. But if they're both the same price, Google TV all the way. If you want something that's like very streamlined, official, and everything, that probably will get more updates than any of them, get the Google TV. So this is a pretty lengthy video that I've done. Uh, hopefully I cut it down. I've like recorded like 40 minutes of stuff. Hopefully you guys like the video. This is like a little different kind of format. I was thinking of recording like with like whole like setup and everything like that, but I decided to do it very simple because I've been having issues with this recorder and I just barely got it working and then it kind of crashed again. So crap. <laughs> Maybe I'll get something like the Elgato or something like that if I have the money. If you guys want to donate, that'd be great. <laughs> or if you guys want to sponsor me, all that fun stuff. <laughs> if you guys have any comments for this video, put them down below. I'll respond to them as best as I can. If you have any suggestions for future videos, again, put them down below. If you like it, give it a like. If you like what I'm doing, I'll hopefully upload more of these kinds of videos. Because, again, I like tech. I've been slowly getting through it. I have a lot more tech to go through. I'm hoping I'll get them in the near future. Maybe I'll focus a little bit more on Google versus Samsung. Who knows? In any case, I hope you guys have a great day or night, wherever the heck you are. See you guys in the next video, whatever may that be. This is Van Waits. See ya!